my boat. Your boat's in a fucking hurry, man. Yeah, well, we'll catch him. In moving their blockbuster onto next-gen consoles, Rockstar have created a new challenge for themselves. How do you take a game that already earned its fair share of perfect scores and make it better? How do you make it definitive? For most, this is achieved by a higher resolution, faster frame rate, and, if you're lucky, a bundle of DLC. Rockstar have done this and could have stopped there, but they've also gone a step further. And it stands out right away as soon as you find yourself back in the shoes of hoodlum with a heart Franklin Clinton. Stepping into a litter-strewn alleyway alongside wannabe gangster Lamar, we were startled by the stray cat that leapt into our path before shooting into the road where it was promptly squashed, causing a mini pile-up in the process. We immediately restarted to see if this was a scripted way for Rockstar to show off the increase in wildlife, traffic and dynamic events. Yet to our delight, it was simply just a classic GTA random occurrence. That simple happenstance certified one thing. This may look like the San Andreas we tore up last September, but it's not the same beast. Not quite. Denser is a word Rockstar have used in their pre-release marketing quite a lot, but it's no buzzword here. The PS4 version contains every ambient detail that the PS3 version did, only there's more here, all packed tighter with a smoother, cleaner framework. We saw birds in the sky, more stray cats in alleys, and a group of cyclists will trundle by at a sedate pace, and you'll catch yourself thinking are they your friends, before you remind yourself that what you're looking at isn't real. Don't get us wrong, next-gen GTA 5 is not photorealistic or even any more truly alive than the previous game, but the illusion is a powerful and enduring one. Suffice to say, it's utterly stunning. Uh, astounding in places. And if the 360 version left you breathless during your last visit, the power of GTA 5 on the new generation consoles is a force to be reckoned with. The new gen version includes a handful of new activities to take part in, one of the best being wildlife photography. Not just a way to show off all the new beasties in the game, but also a game in its own right. The photography can take up hours of your time as you creep around the wilderness trying to capture the perfect shot and not get eaten by anything. Other additions include a smattering of weapons and vehicles that you may or may not spot as new, but the improved blimp is certainly good fun, and you can order it right from the start so taking it for a cruise at night with the city sparkling and sizzling below you is a sight to behold. Once again, Rockstar know exactly what they're doing, and while we couldn't test the online mode just yet, we will bring you something on that after launch. But perhaps the crowning achievement here is the new first person mode, not only because Rockstar were mad enough to add it at all, but because it works so well you'll forget it was absent before. Hitting the touchpad on PS4 transports you into your protagonist's head, but it's much more than just a viewpoint shift. Rockstar didn't just whack a gun barrel in the middle of the screen, instead they went to length to recalibrate the aiming and the collision sensors, added animations for reloading, opening doors and climbing fences. The auto aim is a little too forgiving in this mode, but you can turn it off in the settings, and you can adjust the cover behaviour so it switches to third person when you press up against a wall like in something like Deus Ex Human Revolution. Driving at speed can be a terrifying exercise in first person, but leave the mode active for half an hour and you'll forget it's something that's been added. Like every new addition, it's seamless to the point that you'll have a hard time listing what's new and what was there before. It's not all as obvious as railguns, killer whales and a brand new perspective, but what is obvious is the graphical boost. What was undoubtedly one of the most beautiful games of last gen looks even better now, but the busier streets, more detailed textures and improved weather effects push the engine until the frame rate stutters, occasionally suffering at times during faster chases. It's not a major issue, and it's compensated for somewhat by reduced loading times and that stunning level of detail. So it's fair to say that one of the best games of the last gen has been made even better. Rockstar have located whatever empty space they could find and they've stuffed it full of more content, while tweaking the existing mechanics and polishing the visuals to an impressive level of realism, itself offset by the madcap bombast that the franchise embodies. Anyone concerned that this was just another money-spinning definitive edition can rest easy. Because as ever, Rockstar don't do things by halves, and Grand Theft Auto V on PS4 feels truly next-gen. It's not just a remake, it's a testament to the quality of the original game that GTA V can effortlessly stand among the best titles so far available on these new consoles and in many cases surpass them. It can't be easy to make the re-release of a year old game feel essential, but Rockstar have done exactly that. Yeah.